The El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail is a national historic trail covering the U.S. section of the El Camino Real de los Tejas, a thoroughfare from the 18th century Spanish colonial era in Spanish Texas instrumental in the settlement, development and history of Texas. The National Park Service designated the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail as a unit in the National Historic Trail System in 2004. The modern highways Texas 21 along with Texas OSR and Louisiana 6 roughly follow the original route of the trail. History Alonso de Leon, Spanish governor of Coahuila established the corridor for what would become the El Camino Real de los Tejas in multiple expeditions to East Texas between 1686 and 1690 to find and destroy a French fort established by René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de la Salle on what de Leon considered to be Spanish lands. The route would be refined in 1691–1692 by Domingo Terran de los Rios, the first governor of Spanish Texas, in an effort to make better connections to the Spanish missions in East Texas. San Antonio de Bear, founded in 1718, was the first of many communities built as way stations on the trail. After Mexico achieved independence from Spain in 1821, immigrants from the American colonies invited to Texas would use the corridor to travel to their settlements. A section of the road called Camino Arriba by the Spanish became known as the Old San Antonio Road. The growth of towns such as Austin, Galveston and Houston not on the original route along with the building of railroads changed the direction of travel and trade and the use of El Camino Real de los Tejas diminished. <laughs> route The historic trail ran from the capital and central viceroyalty of New Spain—present-day Mexico City—winding through Saltillo, Monterrey, Laredo on the modern Texas border, San Antonio, and Nacogdoches, before reaching the Louisiana border at the Sabine River. The river crossing was a ferry, in use since around 1795, as the Chabanan Ferry. James Taylor Gaines purchased the ferry in 1819, and it became known as the Gaines Ferry. Gaines sold the ferry in 1843 and at some point it began to be called Pendleton's Ferry. The ferry remained in service until being replaced by the Gaines-Pendleton Bridge in 1937. After crossing the river the trail went through the neutral strip and many, Louisiana, before ending at Natchitoches in modern Louisiana. The trail has a 2,500-mile length. For centuries the Native Americans had used the trail routes for trading between the Great Plains and Chihuahuan Desert regions and essentially created the road. The El Camino Real de los Tejas was first followed and marked by Spanish explorers and missionaries in the 1700s. It was one of several named El Camino Real, or Royal Road, that connected the Spanish possessions in North America with Mexico City. Preservation Interest in the road revived in the early 20th century. In 1915 the Texas legislature appropriated $5,000 to survey and mark the route, and professional surveyor V. N. Zivley was commissioned to make the study. A few years later Daughters of the American Revolution placed granite milestones every five miles along the route to mark it. In October 2004, President George W. Bush signed into law the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail. The National Park Service started planning for the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail in 2006 with a comprehensive management plan. See also Old San Antonio Road, a section of El Camino Real de los Tejas El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, El Camino Real from Mexico to New Mexico El Camino Real California, The California Mission Trail Spanish Missions in Texas Presidio San Antonio de Bear El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro National Historic Trail Juan Bautista de Anza National Historic Trail